Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I thought it would be a lot of fun to finally talk about my love for salt and pepper shakers. I started talking about it in my last thrift haul, so if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. But yes, fun fact about me, I kind of have a thing for salt and pepper shakers. I've kind of started my own little collection, and at least my coworkers have found it to be a very quirky part about me. So I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys on my channel. So I figured I would show you guys my collection that I currently have. And then I have two lists going so far on websites. I have a a salt and pepper list that I have going on my Amazon and then a salt and pepper list I have going on my Etsy both of which have really funky cute unique ones and I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you all the different ones that I really like would also like to say that I just picked up this Valpo crew neck today from the bookstore and I'm absolutely in love with it I also took some cute selfies in my new shirt so I will go ahead and insert them here I've literally wanted it since my freshman year so I'm very happy that I finally got it it just says Valpo dad on it and I think it's kind of funny slash kind of a nod to the fact that my dad and I went the same university but it's definitely helping to put me in a fall mood but anyhow without further ado let's just go ahead and jump into my collection so one of the very first videos that i posted on this channel back when i was still living at my parents house i think was a thrift haul and that is what started the collection was these two cow salt and pepper shakers i think they are so cute they look like this i got them from like my local goodwill and they were probably like a buck or two and it's thanks to these two why i have an obsession with them now honestly ever since i was a kid i used to collect like little trinket boxes and i used to just have random collections of things because when I was a kid, I used to think that was like super cool was to like be able to say that you have different amounts of things. If that makes any sense slash if anyone else did that, I think I was like in my aerial era, if you will. <laughs> because I used to collect trinket boxes, bouncy balls, stickers, and just random little knick-knacky type things like that. All that to say is I feel like this is just another avenue of me collecting things. So yeah, this is the two little cows that started it all. I haven't named them. I'm not that obsessed but they do sit on my bedside table. I'll insert a little photo here because they just mean that much to me, I guess. The next one I collected was the first one I bought since moving into this apartment is this solo rocking chair. That's the little salt and pepper holes right there. And I think she's so cute. She was in the thrift store completely alone and I was like, I have to have it and give it a home. So it actually sits next to my cows. I think it's kind of like the cutest little setup. I'll reinsert the photo here. You can see it in the background behind the cows. I just, there's something so wholesome about a rocking chair salt and pepper shaker. I don't know. The next one that I got, I did show in that thrift haul is this little RV salt and pepper shaker hole. Older, and I am absolutely in love with this thing. Again, I think it'll just be so cute to sit on a table. And I feel like that's kind of part of why I'm obsessed with salt and pepper shakers is like, I feel like it's part of like the decor in like a kitchen or in a dining room or what have you. And it's kind of like a statement piece in a way. Like I feel like our generation is really bringing in funky decor back into houses. I feel like salt and pepper shaker holders as well as just salt and pepper shakers are a really fun, minimal way to do that. And I don't know, I could just envision this in like my future little house or camper or what have you and being able to talk about why I love camping so much. Like, I just think it's like a really fun conversation type piece. The next one that I have in my collection is this Beauty and the Beast salt and pepper shaker. And they are just so cute. They stick together via magnets. But when you stick them together, it looks like they're dancing and it's just so wholesome. You can tell it was clearly hand painted and the holes for this one are on top of the beast and then the back of Belle's dress. Obviously, for those who know me well, one of my nicknames that people call me by is Belle, and my favorite Disney princess ever is obviously Belle, so this one holds a lot of personal meaning to me. And again, I think it's just a little cute decor piece. Like, I don't think I'll actually put salt and pepper in them, but I think they're a lot of fun to have, so happy I got these. The next one that I have is a strawberry. I think it's so cute. It just comes apart like this, and there's no magnets that hold it together, so you just have to like put them next to each other on the table. But the holes are on the top like that, and I don't know. Again, I've said it in probably so many videos at this point, but I do feel like I'm in my strawberry shortcake era, so when I saw this at the thrift store, again, it was another one that I just had to have. And I think it would be so cute as like a summer decor piece on the table. Like, I can just envision it now. Like, I'm obsessed. Next two that I got are these two two frogs. They aren't exactly a pair, but they're both frogs that happen to be salt and pepper shakers, and I am obsessed with frogs, so when I saw these again, they were just two more that I had to have. And the last one I have, which is, in my opinion, one of the coolest ones that I currently own, is this little toaster salt and pepper shaker, and the two pieces of bread are the salt and pepper shaker, and I think it's so cool because that only is it obviously very kitchen themed, which makes sense to have it in a kitchen, but the little lover right here puts them up and down, and I think that is so cute, and they actually come out like pieces of bread. And I don't know, I'm just literally so obsessed with this. 
So yeah, that was another one that I found at the thrift store. It's just so quirky and unique, you know? So yeah, that is my current collection. I have a total of seven sets slash solo pieces. And to some people that might seem excessive, but to me, I know that people's collections can be very extensive. So I feel like it's really not that big of a deal at this point. However, it is becoming a problem because literally every time I see a salt and pepper shaker, A, it takes everything in me to not buy it. And B, it takes everything in me to convince my coworkers that I don't need it. But yeah, I don't know. I just think they're super cute and add such a cute little flair. And I've just always been obsessed with miniature things that hold things, if that makes sense. Which is why I collected like trinket boxes back in the day. Because they could hold like little pieces of jewelry or coins or something. But the fact that these could also be used as like vessels to hold salt and pepper. Even though I probably won't put salt and pepper in them. There's something about it that just is so satisfying to my brain that it can hold that. I don't know. I'm a big organization gal. So I love when things fit into things, you know. Which I think is why salt and pepper shakers that either like blend into each other like the strawberry or have like a place to be held like the RV are especially my favorite salt and pepper shakers to own because they have like a set place to go and that just makes me so unbelievably happy. But yeah anyhow that is my collection currently. I have my Amazon list pulled up so I figured we'd go through that next. I am screen recording my screen so hopefully I can enter a screen recording here. If not I'll definitely insert screenshots right here. All right, the first one is a bear and cabin in the forest salt and pepper shaker. And this one is also just a holder, but I think it is so cute. And again, especially since I love camping and I love the outdoors, I feel like this is just another one that would make sense for me to have in my collection. But as you can see, it has like a little log cabin with like a cute little bear outside of it. And then it's got some trees in the background and then a little place to hold your salt and pepper shakers. And I think it is so cute. This one is $25. So obviously the ones that you get at the thrift store are gonna be much cheaper than the ones you're gonna buy online. And it's definitely not a need. These are never needs. These are obviously just wants, but I would love to have a log cabin type salt and pepper shaker holder. I think it'd be super cute to have like if I ever went camping or if I ever owned my own cabin, like I feel like that'd be such cute decor. Just like a cute little nod to like my interests, you know, like I feel like that'd be so cute. So that's the first one on my Amazon list. The next one, which is kind of going along with the theme is a s'mores salt and pepper shaker set. They're just two cute little s'mores themed ones and they have like little s and p on it with like little chocolate drizzling down. And I feel like this one's really cute too because like the holes are kind of like blended in on the top with the graham cracker and again that's another very satisfying thing to me like if the s and p weren't featured on this like you wouldn't be able to tell you know like I don't know that's just so satisfying to me. This one's running for $18.25. Again a little steep for a salt and pepper shaker but very cute. The next one I have on there are vintage mason jar salt and pepper shakers. This one I particularly thought was cute because they come in different colors. So if you're someone who loves mason jars like I am, like I have tons of mason jars. Like I even have one on my bookshelf right here in a green color. I feel like it'd be really cute to have it as a salt and pepper shaker. Like this blue one, wow. Chef's kiss, I love the blue one so much. And these ones are only $10. As far as salt and pepper shakers go, much more relatively feasible. The next one on my Amazon list is so cute. It's this American scooter salt and pepper shaker. They kind of like look like little mopeds or something like that, or Vespas if you will. And I think they are just so adorable. One of my favorite Disney movies ever, Luca, has Vespas in it. And I think that's kind of where this inspiration came from. Because when I saw these on my Amazon, I was like, I gotta have them. They're so cute. These ones are also $10 and they have a white one and a blue one and I just am obsessed. I love them. They're so cute. Sticking with the Disney theme, the next ones on my Amazon list are Lilo and Stitch themed ones and they're hitting a dance pose and I think it's super cute. Not much to explain here. This one is about $24 and I am not ashamed to admit that I am a Disney adult, but I feel like this could be a minimal way to show I like Disney in my future house, you know? So that's that one. Again, with the Disney theme, the next one I have is a Woody-inspired salt and pepper shaker. It's a cowboy hat and a cowboy boot. And I just think they're so cute. Honestly, people would probably see these on your little table and think, oh, it's just like a Western-themed one and maybe not think twice about it. But for the Disney lovers who know, you know. And this one's also $10. The next one on my Amazon is a Volkswagen bus salt and pepper shaker set. And again, chef's kiss. This one just scratches an itch in my brain that I love so much. Like even how it's got like the pepper and salt written on the top, like I am such a fan of these. Wow. I don't know, like I can just envision them like on a table or like at a picnic table kind of setting. And I just think they're so cute. All right, I have two more on my Amazon list and then we'll move to the Etsy. The next one on my Amazon list is actually meant for four seasonings and not just salt and pepper. So this one has like different plants to represent like different seasons and I think it is so cute. 
feel like it's such a cute idea to display different seasonings on a table. So it's got four compartments. It's got a tree that I feel like is very spring-like. It's got a cactus and then another tree to like re represent fall and then like a evergreen tree to like represent Christmas and you can put like salt all around it and then it kind of looks like snow. I don't know, like the four of these are just so cute. And is it a little bit excessive? Yes. But am I in love with it? Yes. And this one is running for $15 currently and I don't know, it's just so pleasing to my eye to have like different compartments for different seasonings and this one has four compartments for four different seasonings and that makes me so happy. Then the last one I have on my Amazon list, oh wait, jokes. I have I think two more on my Amazon list. Don't I? I feel like I have another one. Yeah, I do. Okay. Sorry, jokes, two more on my Amazon list now. The next one I have on my Amazon list is super minimal and super cutesy. It's a salt and pepper figure. They kind of look like ghosts and they're like hugging. And I think they are just so cute. Like I can just envision them on my table now. Like just the way that they nest into each other is just so satisfying. Like two seasonings that are commonly placed together, they belong together and now they are hugging together. It just is so satisfying to my soul. I am obsessed and these ones are running for 14 bucks. Now the last one I have on my Amazon page, I really just added it today because my Amazon recommended it to me, are two Lego blocks for salt and pepper. And I think they're just so cute. And again, very minimal looking. I just really dig the white and black aesthetic that we got going on. And if you're someone who's super into Legos, like, like I feel like I could see this in your place too, you know? And this one is $18, which is a bit steep, but you know, they're funky salt and pepper shakers, so. So yeah, that is everything on my Amazon list. Moving to my Etsy list. I have 12 shakers currently on here. I will try to run through them very quickly. The first one I have on my Etsy is a hand-painted flower salt and pepper shaker, and they have like little bees on them. I think they are so cute. Oh, they have different designs. They have a ladybug one. Shut up, these are so cute. I didn't realize shit. They have a sunflower one. I didn't realize they have so many designs. These are so cute. Well, anyway, for anyone who's super crafty, you could probably do this for around one to two dollars if you just went to like your dollar store and picked up glass, salt and pepper shakers, and some paint. You could probably do this yourself. Some thoughts for the brain for you right there. But these are super cute. One of the reasons why I love Etsy is because you find different craft ideas like this. Oh, chef's kiss to this one. Love all the ideas that I'm getting from this. The next one I have is just like an assortment of someone's collection, and I thought we could go through them really quick, the ones that I really like. Because here's the other thing that I wanted to mention in this video <laughs> is that just because I have an obsession of salt and pepper shakers and I am starting to collect them doesn't mean that every salt and pepper shaker gets a pass in my opinion. I've seen a lot of quirky looking salt and pepper shakers and there is a difference between quirky and cute and quirky and weird or just quirky and unnecessary if that makes any sense. And everyone's taste is to each their own but sometimes I'll find salt and pepper shakers and people will be like, Sarah, look at these salt and pepper shakers. I'm like, yeah, but they're not really my vibe. And they're like, but you love salt and pepper shakers. I'm like, yeah, but there's like criteria that they have to meet. A, I feel like most of the salt and pepper shakers I've collected mean something to me more than just the fact that they hold salt and pepper. Like perfect example is my Beauty and the Beast one. My camp nickname is Belle. My favorite Disney princess is Belle. It just makes sense for me to have this one. Or even like my strawberry one. Like I love strawberries, it's my favorite food ever. Like I feel like most of them have like a deeper meaning to me. So I feel like that's an important disclaimer is that just because I'm collecting this doesn't mean that every single salt and pepper sugar gets like a pass in my opinion or something. The ones that I'm showing you today are a carefully curated bunch that have taken me hours to find on these sites. Just scouring Amazon and Etsy for the top of the top salt and pepper sugars that I would love to have in my collection. All that to say is that sometimes on Etsy people just post a bunch because it's their personal collection and they just want to get rid of all of them. And so I thought we could go through a couple of these today. As we see in the back, there is Woody and Bullseye. Obviously, as I mentioned on my Amazon one, love to have Disney themed ones. I'm obsessed with that one. Another one that we can see on their page is like a little typewriter and desk situation. I think that is so quirky and so cute. And I think that would fit so perfectly with my rocking chair one. Like they are destined to be in the same realm. It makes sense to me, would love to own that. Another one that they have down at the front here is like, I don't know, it's like a stack of laundry in a laundry basket. Like that does nothing for me. I feel like that's a perfect example of something that just like, it gives me nothing. Honestly, even the one on the middle right there, I believe it's Cinderella's carriage and the horses. Like, I love Disney, but that one does nothing for me. Like, I don't know, like, there's just like certain criteria that I look for. Same with the giraffes, like they just don't do anything for me. 
The next two I have on my Etsy are mushroom ones. Oh, this one was sold. Oh, that's so sad. Anyhow, our mushroom mushrooms mushroom ones and that first one was sold but the second one is also super cute i love the inverted colors that we got going on just like my strawberries and frogs like i'm very much in a mushroom phase as well so love these oh the next one i have is also sold it's a strawberry salt and pepper shaker except it's two strawberries i thought this was super cute in general i feel like food items are super cute because you can have them like just laying on the table and it kind of looks like you have food out but, like in a cutesy way i don't know it just makes sense to me in my brain and it like it just a scratch in my brain again like i can't describe it it just makes me happy the next one i have is an avocado and i'm like i'm not a super avocado obsessed person but this one makes me so happy because first of all the avocado is cut down the middle right but then you got the little what is it called? The pit? The seed? Avocado seed? Nut? Pit? Whatever it's called, you have that, right? And so when you put them together, they like hug just like my um, Beauty and the Beast one or just like the hugging one on my Amazon that I showed you earlier. Like the fact that they go into each other like that and create like a whole avocado makes me so happy. But then also the fact that they are so cute even when they're not whole because they have like little smiles on their face and like blush and all that. Like, I'm obsessed. Like, I it's the little things y'all it really is like i don't ask for much in this world but like i can envision this on my table and just like how happy they are and then how happy and cute they look when they're put together makes me so happy <laughs> honestly take a shot for every time i do chef's kiss because there's a lot of that in this video i'm sorry <laughs> the next one i have is a vintage wooden mushroom salt pepper shaker set again love mushrooms and i feel like these are just super cute not much to explain there. The next one I have is the last mushroom themed one, I promise. But this one, just like on my Amazon with the four seasoning ones, is a multi-purpose one. It's not just salt and pepper. It's salt and pepper, a toothpick holder, a vinegar or oil bottle, and then the white tray is also included. And like, just how- look how cute these all look together put on a tray. You cannot tell me that these are not the cutest things you've ever seen and the cutest way to display such day-to-day -day items that you may need when you're at the dining table. Like. That is literally so cute. Like, I'm obsessed. Look at that layout. That is so freaking cute. I am obsessed. Is it $50? Yes. Will I be buying it anytime soon? No. However, a girl can dream and that's what Etsy lists are for. So that's why she's on there. I think she's so cute. <laughs> it literally says only one left and nine people have it in their cart. So the um, logistics of me getting it before those nine people is probably very slim, but I just truly like the idea of it. So that's why it's there. The next one I have, I think is so cute. I'm not even that big of an artist, but it's a paintbrush and like paint palette set. And like, first of all, I just think it's cute. But secondly, the way that they fit into each other makes me so utterly happy. I can't describe like the way that the brush lays on top of the palette. Oh, it just makes me so happy. Like, could you envision just like a little tiny little paint palette on your table and you're like, can you pass the salt and pepper? And they like hand you this little paintbrush and paint palette. That is so cute. I don't know. It just makes me really happy. <laughs> Next one I have is a little rainbow with clouds kind of set. I think this one is super cute and would be cute like on a kid's table or something. It's the clouds that are the salt and pepper shaker. And again, I just really appreciate salt and pepper shakers that come with holders. And the fact that the clouds sit on tiny little plates connected to the rainbow makes me so happy. Like when I was a kid and I used to draw rainbows, this is exactly how I would draw them, right? You got like your arch and then you got your two little clouds at the bottom. And the fact that they have like a place to sit specifically is everything it's everything <laughs> so yeah love that one i have two more on my etsy so the next one i have is kind of like a bouge set it's a oyster shell set and i think they come with the spoons but i guess like way back in the day people used to have like little bowls that you'd like pinch like your own salt and pepper from and like every single setting would have their own individual salt and pepper things which i think in the future if and when i host parties i would personally love to have like little individual ones for each place setting because i feel like that's just such a bougie thing to have but i feel like this kind of fits into the realm of that like instead of having like a vessel that you shake from like either use your fingers to like pinch it on your food or like use a little spoon to like scoop it on like it just seems like such a bougie experience to me. Like it just makes me so happy. <laughs> Clearly it is because it's $42. And again, your girl's never gonna buy it anytime soon. Like, I think they're just so cute. Like, come on. Like the paintwork on it and like the gold detailing around the rim and even the little spoons with like the little gem that they got at the end of them. Like, I just think they're so cute. And like with this one, like you're not committed to like salt and pepper specifically because it's not like S and P are written on it. Like you can put any seasoning that you want in there. Like 
I really love the idea of these, so I'm really digging that. And then the last one that I have on my Etsy, which is sold, but I still think they're very cute to look at, are a avocado green daisy design salt and pepper shaker set. They're not like anything crazy, but definitely have like that retro feel to them. And like, I'm also very much in a green phase right now. So really just digged the idea of green salt and pepper shaker on my table. But yeah, that is everything that is on my Etsy and my Amazon list. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to share with y'all about this random little quirky tidbit about me. But yeah, I truly can't think of anything else. I feel like I covered all the bases. I showed y'all my collection and my two lists that I have going. But yeah, it's not like a super serious hobby that I got going on. I feel like it's just another thing to add to like my list of things to keep an eye out for when I do go thrifting. But I think since so many people find it to be such an interesting part about me, I kind of thought that's good enough reason to share with y'all here on my channel. So yeah, if you guys also collect anything interesting, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Like I said earlier, younger me thought people who collected different things was like a super cool trait to have. So I would love to hear any of y'all's collections that you've got going on. But yeah, this video is kind of random and totally out of what I normally post on here. Although to be honest, I don't really have a normal of what I post on here. I really just post whatever I feel like. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun getting to show you guys all my little quirky trinkets that I got going on. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I hope you guys are having a good day, but if you're not, that's okay too. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!